Okay, so now I've got the full screen or the uh, talus done. So what I've done is created a cube, polygon cube for the uh, calcaneus and try to position it relative to the talus. Uh, right now it's pretty much a solid cube. I'm going to see if I can add some subdivisions in the uh, in this axis. So I'm going to start with just this many for right now. So this is my poster face. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add another subdivision in the height. And I'll make two of those. Okay, so now I can grab some faces and begin pulling things around. So I'll grab this face, rotate it to match that posterior, and maybe raise it. So I could, I mean, it would make some sense to actually just change the axis, you know, uh, rotate. But, you know, we've learned from rotating things that often that's difficult. You don't really get uh, the orientation then becomes awkward as you try to manipulate things. What I'm going to do instead is try to work with faces and create as much as possible all these um, subtleties, characteristics, without getting too crazy as far as uh, I'm starting to get a little crazy right there. Maybe I'll take that edge and just rotate it a little bit so it's not quite so. Let's not do that yet. Let's instead take let's take the vertices and just I gotta lock my plane again. I'm sorry, my image plane. Let's try taking these vertices here. Yeah, just lowering that down. Okay. Same thing here, we'll raise that one up. And here, if I take this edge, raise it, maybe move it back a little bit, scale it. Take this edge, move it over a little bit more. scale it a little bit. So remember I'm double clicking when I get these edges from the side. Uh, you know I'd like to get that face up a little higher. I might have to add another edge there. I don't want to if I don't have to right now. Now again, I'm in the number one mode with the calcaneus, and I'm in the number. Um, I'm gonna turn off this. I can't right now, can't because I'm looking at it. I'm in the number uh, three mode with the uh, talus, so eventually I'm gonna have to switch so they're consistent. Uh, let's see. Go for this face down here. We can rotate it, elevate it. Take this set of vertices here, raise them up. Same thing with the ones above there. So again, I'm trying to keep something of a consistent space. All right, so I have to lock my talus now. It's getting in my way. So we'll object select it and create a layer and we'll call talus. And then we'll uh, make it a reference so I, I can't pick it up.
Okay, and you can see I probably need, there's not a lot I can do right here. You know, get this kind of subtle uh, change without an edge. So that's better. But I think in order to accommodate this part of the talus, I'm going to end up having to say, insert an edge loop here. And getting the face that that talus is sitting on. I'm, I'm tempted to say, okay, let's just take this face down because from the side, uh, or I'm sorry, this face, because from the side that will do it, but I really don't think it will because um, the, the, the talus doesn't have this protrusion on both sides. It's, it's dominant on this medial side. So I think what I'll do is um, I'll do an edge loop now from this point of view. So I can begin to modify just a little more subtly the faces. To reveal that um, that part. see how that works. We know we're going to need an edge loop here and here if we're going to keep that, that you know the, uh, the general lip shape. So we're we're there part way. And the next thing to do is look down maybe. Probably did that a little prematurely if you consider how much I've got to modify still down here. But let's see if we can get away with that. Um, maybe what I can do is say face Drag a box here at the end and turn on the soft select and rotate this whole. Now my rotate tool right now is on component, so I'm going to change it to world. I can rotate that and move it like that. Okay, and maybe move it forward a little bit. Okay, and I can always take that um, this face here, for example, and um, pull it out and maybe scale it to get a little more of that um, this prominence here. I kind of got that. That shape's not bad. Um, I'd like to get the heel, the actual part that's touching the ground, this part a little rounder. Uh, difference of opinion, obviously, in the two pieces. I mean, look how far out this is versus that. I'm going to defer at this time to that one because I'm going to guess that the, um, the distance would have made a difference. In other words, this being lower from the top would have made it difficult. And let's see what else. Okay, how about this edge here for a second? Turn off that and E. Let's rotate it, scale it a little bit. Okay. Same thing here. Let's. Move that in, scale it. Um, I'm missing this. Now when I pull it out, obviously I get the problem. Maybe I could rotate it in this plane so I can start to get what I want. And then if I want that more of a ridge than a gentle, I might switch to an edge and pull it posteriorly to just kind of compromise with that, get a little more of a abrupt edge there. Okay. Like I said, this part I like to see a little rounder, so I'm gonna move that. 
This time I'm going to change the component so I'm perpendicular to that axis. And up. Just get the base of this heel. I want it to be a little rounder, so I'm going to um, oops, try to raise that. And same thing on the other side. Take this edge, actually bring it down a little bit. Okay, kind of more of a rounder base there. Even take this further forward. Okay, looks like this face and then face. Here we go up a little bit scale them in and then that leaves this face go back down rotate get a little more of that shape okay so we're kind of getting shape here now the critical part the the most critical part is we've got to get this this little shelf here I'm trying to remember what that's called there's a name for that it's um I know it's not called the shelf, but it's it's. I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, so we'll look it up afterwards and see if we can't can't find that out. Um, let's see. Uh, 